Always down for a dip in a natural pool, and uh, it's time to get naked. You're watching Vaga Brothers, and this is Sri Lanka. I'm Alex. I'm Marco, and we're the Vaga Brothers. Brothers, vagabonds, and your go-to guides for travel tips, inspiration, and vlogs on YouTube. In this series, we're discovering the best of Sri Lanka. Ancient cities, stunning nature, rich culture, and delicious food. What's up, I'm Marco. I'm Alex. And you're watching Vaga Brothers. Right now we are in Sri Lanka. We've been traveling through the whole country and right now we're in the south of the hill country in Ella, which is kind of the backpacker central of Sri Lanka. And we're starting things off at a boutique hotel called 98 Acres. They only have 28 rooms though, which is slightly confusing. But we're gonna grab some lunch at Cafe 98. And then behind us, we have Little Adams Peak, which is supposedly one of the best hikes in the area. So we're gonna strap on some boots and make it to the top of the peak, get a lay of the land, and see where we go from there. You ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Let's go. Well, for lunch, we have a nice spread. We're doing fish and curry or chicken and curry dishes. So we got a lot of different types of curries. We got vegetables, we got dal, we got fish, we got chicken. And then they just put a big plop of rice right onto a banana leaf. And you just kind of mix it all in. You have the coconut sambal, which is awesome. Uh, and yeah, it's a simple and delicious meal. It's gonna fuel us for our hike up to the top of the mountain. The food was so good. I have finished everything on my plate. This place is super cool. We are not staying here because there's only 28 rooms and they get booked up way in advance. And they're also some of the most expensive uh, rooms in Sri Lanka, but as you can see, definitely worthwhile. Um, but if you don't stay here, I think that coming for lunch is a really good deal. But at its core, Ella is a backpacker town, so we're gonna go on this hike up to the mountain and then get down to the village to see why it's so popular with backpackers. Where is your school? Is it this way? Yeah. No, no. You coming home? Finish oh. school? Ah, are you learning English in school? England. <sighs> Look, photo? Yeah, you're in a photo right now. Say hello. <laughs> up. Say hello. This place is pretty cool. So it's called 98 uh, Acres because there are 98 acres on the property. Most of it is a tea plantation and there's 28 houses and they don't expand, they don't plan on expanding beyond the 28 huts. Uh, but all the food we just ate comes from local areas. Uh, it's super sustainable, really good. And there's like yoga studios, gyms. It's making me want to come back here already. We haven't even left yet. Well, we maybe are five or 10 minutes into the hike and it's already started raining quite hard. So we've popped into a little hut that's like under construction at the base of the climb. And we're just kind of hunkering down for a little bit of shelter, but the view out in front of us of the valley is, it's pretty incredible. What are they, what are they building here? <coughs> Special construction uh, by cable car. Oh, they're making a cable car. Cable car. Ah. It's actually interesting because um, this town, Ella, was really not on the map until it got written up in a couple guidebooks. Got all the ingredients of a good backpacker destination. It's very mellow. The prices are lower than on the coast. But this building is one of the new constructions that is kind of flowering up around this new economy. And it's kind of cool. Like on one side, I'm sure there's people who are like, no, this used to be really great when it was just a couple of backpackers here back in the day. But it's also interesting to see like locals taking advantage of the interest in this part of the world. The hope is that it can be developed the right way 
uh, without losing its flavor, its charm, and also without becoming overcrowded, uh, which, you know, unfortunately is kind of the case with travel. Somebody finds a cool spot and then, you know, you tell the next person, the next person, and next thing you know, it's totally flooded and it's not the same as it was. So that's kind of the, the traveler dilemma in, in a way. Um, but, you know, you can't deny the, the locals the opportunity to, to improve their financial standpoint, but you just hope that it's done in, in the right way. Because this is an absolutely stunning place and uh, it would be a shame if five or 10 years from now, it isn't. Alright, well, we are walking back towards town and we're passing a local village. Lots of ladies harvesting tea. We still have our doggy friends in tow from uh, Little Adam's Peak, but we're gonna head back to town and see what type of mischief we can get up to on a rainy afternoon. When you come to Sri Lanka, you should always keep in mind the time of year because the monsoon hits the south like in May and June, and then in the north it will hit at a different time of year. Check episode one of this series to learn more information that you should know before you go to Sri Lanka. Ding! Good job. chill cafe aptly named it's extremely chill it's also pretty popular definitely like a little backpackers haunt uh, pretty nostalgic honestly it's been a while since we've hung out at like good old-fashioned backpackers bar but we've got uh, cocktails with arak which is a local alcohol uh, ginger beer which Sri Lanka produces a you know produce a lot of ginger and lime so cheers it's a rainy afternoon just gonna have a cocktail, read, and chill. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's a beautiful day here in rural Sri Lanka. We're at the Jet Wing Kandruketa, surrounded by rice fields, mountains, jungles. Woke up to the sounds of peacocks at 5.30 in the morning. Uh, and we've also spotted a little bit of wildlife. Seen a mongoose, seen a bunch of different birds. But today, we have something super fun and super special. So yesterday we were in Ella, and we were very firmly planted on the backpacker trail. Mm. There's tons of backpackers there, and the, and the town really has that sort of vibe. We even were at the Nine Arches Bridge, which is now famous from Instagram and just kind of very crowded. So today, we were trying to find something that's a little bit different. Mm. We're gonna go hike up to the second biggest waterfall in Sri Lanka. It's supposed to be beautiful, and it's supposed to be something that most tour tourists don't even know about. We are at the base of Dialuma Falls. Um, it's really cool, there's a big rubber plantation right here, and behind us are the houses of the rubber workers, and it's, they're super beautiful. They have all these different colors on them, and uh, it's a very nice setting, and you know I don't think that many tourists come this far, so today should be a day of exploration. So 
So this is an old rubber factory and uh, a lot of the surrounding countryside is actually filled with rubber trees. That's how rubber was harvested and still is harvested. It's a naturally occurring substance, which is essentially the sap of the rubber tree. In the turn of the century, there was a huge rubber boom uh, internationally. Lots of European countries were trying to get rubber for their industrial booms that happened in the early 1900s. Getting rubber was essential for the economies of lots of uh, industrialized nations. They needed rubber to make tires, to make all the things, all the new products of the Industrial Revolution. So places like this, where the rubber tree naturally grows and could grow, uh, became very important for these countries. So this is all of the, this is the rubber and, oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like, you know, something that would go in the like bottom of your car, but it definitely does have a meaty smell to it. Mark said beef jerky, I'd say that's pretty on point. It smells like, it smells like meat, beef jerky. So one of the things you have to be careful of when walking in the jungle here are leeches. Uh, our guide just got a leech attached to his leg and we are watching them remove it now. Salt water works, fire also works, and our guide also told us that peeing on the leech also works, but we're not sure if that was just a joke to get us to pee on each other. I had two on my shoe. So now I'm using some mosquito repellent to see if that will repel them. Can you put that on my shoe too? Yep. We've been hiking for probably about an hour now and we just got up to the ridge overlooking the upper section of the falls. It's really cool to be up here in the forest, in the mountains, and uh, to get a taste of what wild Sri Lanka is like. This is an incredibly diverse island. It's got over 400 species of bird. 30 plus of them are endemic to Sri Lanka, which means they only live here. But up here in the highlands, there's all sorts of animals. And this is the only place in the world where the leopard is the apex predator. Other places in Africa and in India, the leopard is outshined by the lion or the tiger. Uh, but here in Sri Lanka, it's the king of the jungle. It's an incredibly elusive cat. It's one of the hardest animals to spot in the wild here. But this is just incredible. I'm so happy to be out here. I'm so happy to be out in the wild. And look at this view, look at this waterfall. We're not even down there yet. It's about to get way bigger and way more beautiful. We have arrived to the waterfall and it is spectacular. I've never seen a fall like so impressive and imposing. It's huge. It's over 500 feet tall and we're just standing on the edge looking out over this beautiful forested valley. And worth noting that it is the 364th highest waterfall in the entire world. But it's the second highest in Sri Lanka so depending on what your statistics are. Well, regardless of ranking, this is definitely at the top of my waterfall list. Wait a second, what is, what's going on over here? What is this conspiracy? Just having some roti. Where did you get that? In that man right there in that hut. Oh, there's a dude over there in a hut cooking? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, bro, roti.
always down for a dip in a natural pool. We found one that's a nice mellow sized waterfall to, to swim around. And uh, it's time to get naked. Actually, just joking, I'm putting on a bathing suit. Never be naked here, people don't do that at all. Well, that was excellent. One of my favorite things about traveling and backpacking is like coming up and finding a waterfall or a swimming hole. I think that after a couple of weeks of traveling around, feeling sweaty, feeling grimy, it's really good to just clean off, feel refreshed from a, a river. And this is a really beautiful spot. So if you're in the Ella area, definitely come check this place out. Uh, there's a ton of things to do outside of that town. And uh, we heard about some people who trekked it here, hour and a half and it took took. So anything's possible. Um, make it out here, check it out, and uh, if you bring any trash, please pick it up because it's a beautiful and naturally preserved place. You've got something to say out here about it. You've got something to gain. I'll give it to you. All right, well, we've come off of the mountain back from the hike and we've stopped into a little village. We're gonna have uh, lunch here. They've prepared a beautiful spread, some local curries, fish uh, fish curry and rice, very traditional foods, um, but it's cool. It's kind of like a waddle and daub house, you know, just made out of uh, clay and bricks. Um, palm fronds for the thatching of the roofs, but they're cooking in there. There's cute little puppies and kitties running around and they have a beautiful spread for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, it's been a super awesome couple of days exploring the wilderness around Ella, but uh, we're back at our hotel. We're zonked, we're tired. The rain has uh, started to come down and it looks like it's gonna stick around for the next couple of hours. So I'm gonna get an Ayurvedic treatment, just gonna chill in the spa, but if you have not already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it with your travel buddies, Subscribe to Bag Brothers and check out the rest of the videos from Sri Lanka. We've done a lot of really cool stuff. And tomorrow, we're going down south to go to the surfing beaches, which should be epic. So stick around for that. And as always, stay curious, keep exploring, and we will see you on the road. Peace.